Good morning, grade sevens. This week in language arts, we're gonna break the week up into uh, two parts, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you're gonna be working on some grammar activities on no red ink. Uh, I have sent you all the link to that website. I've created the class already and everybody's name is there. So make sure you open that Gmail attachment. I sent it to both you and your parents. Um, at No Red Ink so that you can join the class. Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week is, uh, looks like grammar assessment. I don't want you to worry about what you're doing. I don't want you to stress out about what the questions are asking. If you have no idea what the grammar question is asking you to do, take your best guess. I'm not using these marks for evaluation at all. All I want to see is where do I need to start so that we all start using uh, grammar better in our writing. Looking at capitals, looking at punctuation, looking at run-on sentences. I want to see where you're at. So I honestly don't care if on Monday, Wednesday, Friday you get zero. Well, I'd be a little upset if you got zero. But even if you did terribly, then I know where to start because some of us are still writing sentences that don't start with a capital. People's names in the sentences don't have capitals. Places don't have capitals. We don't have punctuation. And we aren't supporting our answers with fact. Um, looking at the bully boy's answers that I have been getting from some people, uh, I'm noticing that I'm getting answers like, he worked on a farm. Well, I've read the novel. I know that we could be talking about Tom, we could be talking about Fitzgibbon, we could be talking about Mr. McCann. You need to be writing sentences that make sense. For example, if it said, why was Tommy surprised at Fitzgibbon's actions? The answer shouldn't start with because. A good answer would be, Thomas was surprised at Fitzgibbon's actions because when he screamed the Americans were coming, Fitzgibbon didn't run but he stood to face the enemy. That's a good answer. It tells me that you know the answer first of all, and by reading what you've written, I know what the question asked. It's really important. Uh, as we get ready for high school, questions like, because Fitzgibbon didn't run, is not going to cut it. We need to start working on our sentence structure, our grammar, and writing good answers. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week, online assessment. Each of the online assessments should take you anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Please make sure you're reading the directions at the top of each screen. When I went through to do it, it took me a minute to realize that each question gave me an example above it. So you stop, read the example, see what they're asking you to do, and it says, if you need to make a change to this sentence, do it this way. And if you think the sentence is good the way it is, press submit. That's just a little clue as to how that website will work. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, online, the assessment, no red ink. I've put the links, uh, they will show up each day in your inbox, and I'm going to try to put those links into the Google Classroom, uh, just something I haven't quite figured out yet if I can copy that each day's assessment into the Google Classroom or not. Next, what are we gonna do Tuesday, Thursday? Well, Tuesday, Thursday, I would like you to keep working on the bully boys. I would like you to go back, look at your answers. Do they make sense? Have you capitalized? Have you said because? Have you said, um, have you given support from the novel? Do I know who you're talking about? Most of our questions are in regards to Tommy Fitzgibbon. Sometimes we have Mr. McCann thrown in or Tommy's dad. Starting your sentences with, because he wasn't feeling good, tells me nothing. Fitzgibbon had a stomach ache. Tommy hurt his foot. I don't know. So we're going to work on our bully boys, making our question, or, sorry, making our answers much better. And don't forget, we have those extension activities. The extension activities uh, are written in the Google Classroom already. One was that first one where you could make the blockhouse using uh, Minecraft, or you could draw the uniform of the soldiers. Extension two is also written there. And then we have extension three, 
which was to draw the map. Now some of the people have been asking, is it okay if I draw the map, um, that I copy a map from the time on the computer and then just add in the important places? Yes, that's okay with me as long as there's a legend telling me what where the important places are, like the DeCue farm, where the field hospital was in Stony Creek near Burlington Bay, that sort of thing. Don't just copy a map for me and uh, say that does the activity. It's not really what I'm looking for. I hope this helps. Next week, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but instead of assessments on No Red Ink, we are going to do some grammar activities each day. Again, it will take you about the same amount of time, 30 to 45 minutes online on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for uh, language arts. Tuesday, Thursday will be for the Bully Boys. If you have any questions, please email me. I'm happy to help out. Um, Dean and Haley, who have already handed in your Bully Boys answers, and I've graded it and sent it back. If you want to take some time to go back and fix up those things that I've been asking about, did you start with because, does your sentence make sense? Feel free to go ahead and do that and I will remark it. I hope everybody has a great week and I will see you at the beginning of next week. Bye everybody.